Well, the operation is the bottling operation, which we do uh, several times a year. It just depends on when we're when we feel the barrels are ready. And then in this case, uh, we mixed uh, four barrels of Grenache Blanc together. Uh, of course, we tasted it beforehand to make sure that it wasn't a, a gamble. And it's quite good. So um, we put it in a large tote. You know, it's a 350-gallon tote. And then that mixes it real well. And then we start the bottling process. We put a, a hose in the uh, tote over there. And we uh, pump the uh, wine all the way to the filler here, which is the reservoir right here. And it goes in here. It's got like a little bathroom thing, a ball in there that stops it. You can hear the sound just went off because gotcha. it's full right now. But how it starts is uh, over in the back corner, there's some bottles of nitrogen. I'll show them to you. This is what we fill the bottles with right here. And then... Uh, Why do you fill it with nitrogen? Uh, well, we keep it. It's for longevity, uh, oxidation of the wine. We don't want any of that. Uh, we uh, buy really good corks, and we uh, put the gas in there. And as a result, um, you know, the longevity of the wine is probably about five years okay. or more, probably. So it's nice in here. Okay, yeah, and then uh, this is called an uh, asparger here. What, what we do with this is we take a, a clear bottle. This has been sanitized. Uh, and then we just do one, two, three. So it fills that bottle up with nitrogen. And then what we do is put it on a port right here, push it up, and it gravity feeds like that. It gravity fills up and stops it right at this level right, right there. So uh, at this point, I'll show you what we do next. Here, let that fill up. It right. goes pretty quickly. And then you do six at a time when you do Oh yeah, they're just rolling along right. here. Yeah, there are three of us can really cook along here. Indeed. Okay. So what we do is take this and put it right in the corker like that. Still got a little nitrogen. Nitro nitrogen's a heavy gas, so it stays in there. It's just not like when it disappear. So and then we press both of these little guys. The corks are all up here. And then and then there it goes. And then this goes into the, the box here. Then we put these in the storage for aging. And later on, uh, or anytime particularly, we can uh, do the labeling and put the foil on top of it and it's ready to go. Right now, this is uh, Grenache 22. So uh, our goal is to let that uh, age out for at least a year. In the bottle. In, in the bottle. In, in the yeah, bottle. in the bottle. And then uh, it makes a really a lot of difference. So. Uh, all these uh, cases here will be full of Grenache Blanc. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and store them in the warehouse. And uh, this time next year, we'll pull them out, and, and, uh, and they're going to be good. They're ready to go. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, this is a really a good food wine. Uh, it's our best-selling white wine. Uh, it even tops the Salt Blanc, which has got a better name. Grenache Blanc is, uh, is something that's a little odd. Uh, it grows very well here, so that's the reason we have it. Uh, as opposed to Chardonnay and things like that that don't grow in this heat. So we take, uh, just, we take what nature gives us and we push this in the tasting room. And uh, in the tasting room environment, people come in and drink it and go, well, I've never had this, but this is really good. Uh -huh. So, and then as a result, uh, it's, uh, it's, our, it's our best wine. Now, if you take a look- Please come on by Zion Vineyards. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.